Thanks for tuning in at Brackies. Hello everyone and welcome to video number 7 in going to D. Today we're going to be taking a look at adding some audio to a game. We're also going to do a few other things. Uh, here's the list for today. First off, we are going to delve into physics iterations, which is just a quick fix to make the collisions in our game a bit more accurate. Then next up, we are going to add some sound effects and some backing, uh, background music. And then at last, and this is only if we have time, uh, we're going to add a reset and a quit button. So cool. That's the format for today. So as always, I've opened up Unity here. And if we go under Edit, Project Settings, and then Physics 2D, you can see that I have bumped up the velocity and the position iteration. So normally these are at 8 and 3. And uh, they basically mean uh, how accurately the computer is going to calculate collision between objects. And uh, what we want is we want to bump this up a bit because we only have a single rigid body object in our scene. And so uh, the calculations that the computer is going to be doing are not that hard. So we might as well make them very accurate. And uh, this number is, of course, going to depend on uh, the platform you're publishing to because physics uh, calculations can be harsh on the CPU, which is the processor. Uh, but again, we only have one single uh, rigid body element in the scene. So I think we're going to be fine. So I'm just going to bump the velocity iteration up to 15 and the position, uh, position iterations up to 10. Cool. Um, next up on our list is the sound effects. So if you go ahead, uh, if you go to brackies.com, uh, you can download the 2D assets pack under the Unity 2D course here. And uh, inside of this, I've included some cool sound effects and some music uh, that you're free to add to your game. Uh, also commercially, it's completely royalty free. So if we go under the 2D assets pack here, under the audio folder, we can see we have a bunch of different things. And let me just preview this. I'm just gonna bump down the volume a bit. And uh, let's start off with the background music. And I've made sure that uh, the background music will loop uh, pretty nicely and seamlessly without weird clicking. Uh, also, we have a bonus sound. Uh, which, which is great for pickups. We have a click. Which is pretty subtle. Uh, so it's something we're going to use whenever the ball hits um, our players. We have a game over if you want to add a game over sound. Game, game over. over. I've made that one myself. And then we have a hit. Which is a little more violent. Um, so yeah, feel free to use this uh, however you want. First off, let's do the uh, clicking. So let's drag the click audio clip inside of Unity here and simply release. Maybe let's uh, make a folder for this. So let's make a folder called audio and drag the click audio inside of that. So double click it and in here, select the click audio and we're gonna change the 3D sound uh, to false here. So we're just gonna disable that uh, because this is a 2D game and we don't want the sound to be relative to the uh, position from the source, uh, from the listener to the source. We just want it to be there simply. So uh, just disable that. And uh, everything else here we can just leave. Uh, we can make this native and not compress it because it's such a short sound. So it's okay that it's really nice quality and, and, and therefore also a large size. So let's hit apply and uh, cool. So now let's go ahead and program uh, the functionality that will play this. So if we go ahead and find our ball here, uh, we can, okay, so we can do a few things here. We can uh, place the script on the ball or on the players. Uh, because we are going to be detecting whenever the um, ball hits the player. So first off, we can open up our ball control script. Simply double-click to open it up in Mono Develop. 
and uh, just wait for it to open up probably probably here hmm mono developers acting a bit weird I think I'll just close it down and uh, start it up again might need to pause the video here because I think mono develop has stopped working here let's try this again so open up the ball control script and uh, yeah this looks better cool so now it's working so let me zoom in on the text here and we can see that in here we have an on collision enter where the ball checks if we hit a player and then we add some velocity and this is an on collision enter which means that it will only be called once and this is really great for playing audio so we might as well add our audio here so now we can simply go in here and say audio dot play and inside of these uh, parentheses you can input a name of the audio but because we're only going to have one audio sitting on our um, one audio source on our ball we can simply just leave it empty so now let's save this and hit back into unity and now we can make some audio for uh, the script to play so now let's hit add component audio audio source inside of the audio source we're going to select the clip which is going to be the click then we're going to disable play on awake and make sure that loop is also disabled and just to make sure that this won't be too loud let's just drag it to something like 0 0.8 it's a great thing to um, mix everything not too loudly because if you um, have a player that opens up the game and everything just blows him away chances he's just gonna mute it and that's not what you want you want him to be enjoying the audio that you made so just make sure that it's not too loud and then maybe add an option for volume control um, also you have better control over the maximum volume or uh, if your clip is pretty silent if everything is mixed down so just mix it down uh, to start out with cool let's now hit play and see how this sounds we can hear the clicking sound playing whenever the ball hits our player great so that's exactly what we want now whenever it comes to a clip that is played as much as this one I mean it's almost played constantly it can quickly get annoying so here's a pretty cool tip uh, for making it sound less repetitive right before the audio.play we do audio.pitch and then we simply change the pitch using a random dot range so we are just going to change it with a random value so we do equals random dot range and then inside of this we can simply input two float numbers so something like and you can of course make these into variables up here um, so you can change them inside of unity but I'm just gonna hard code them here so uh, something like 0 0.8 this might be too much but it's good for demonstration purposes and then 1.2 F and then close it off and add a semicolon so now every time right before the audio plays it's gonna randomize the pitch a bit and we can see the pitch value down here so when we hit play now We can see the pitch vary and we can hear the small variations it's not much but it's enough that you will not get so annoyed by the uh, sound constantly playing awesome so the next thing to do here is add uh, the next sound effect so we could do something with the bonus let's let's add this whenever a player scores if you have made some AI so that the player is playing against an opponent you could add this sound when the player scores and this sound when the um, when the AI scores but we're not gonna go into that so let's drag our bonus clip under the audio folder inside of unity let's go in here 
disable 3D sound, leave it native, and simply hit apply. Now we can go in here and uh, let's see where this would be good to place. Uh, so we have our ball here and our ball control script. And it, inside of this, we call the reset ball function. So it might be good to play it using this. I mean, we also have, let's see. So we have the on collision. We have the go ball. Uh, that's not any of what we want. So we might, I mean, it's easiest if you can just spread the different audio sources over uh, a few different objects. That way you don't have to switch out audio clips using uh, variables. That what That's what you normally do if you need to play multiple clips on one object. Uh, but just to simplify things, I would like this to sit on another object. So maybe in here, uh, where we detect uh, whether or not something is hit. So here with the side walls, inside of this script, we could add something. Yeah, let's, let's actually go ahead and do that. So inside of this, if hit na uh, info.name is equal to ball, uh, it sends out the reset ball and it scores and all that. Let's play the audio in here. So let's simply do right before game manager dot score. We are just going to do audio dot play. And you can add the pitch uh, randomization here also. It's not played as much, so I'm just going to leave it because I'm lazy, but feel free to do it. Uh, then under, then simply select the left and the right wall, hit add component, audio, audio source to add it to them both. Make sure to disable play on awake, bump down the volume a bit. Uh, and then under the audio clip, we can just select the bonus here. And yeah, these settings have applied to both the walls. And let's hear how this sounds. That's just perfect. Cool, so now we also have a scoring sound. That's basically all the sound effects that I feel like we need. Uh, you can also add something for every time the ball collides. Uh, and you can do that just using a normal on collision enter and then switching out the uh, source down here. But uh, again, that's not something we are going to go into. This is a pretty simple game and audio was not the primary theme for this, uh, for this series. So next thing on our list is the music. So let's add some background music to our game. So to add the background music here, let's just first off drag it into Unity. So drag it under the audio folder. And this is going to take a little while to import. Uh, whenever it comes to optimizing your game in terms of storage, so that it won't be too large for uploading, uh, audio is really something you need to go after because audio really quickly gets really large uh, in file size. So watch out with long clips this is actually pretty long uh, it of course depends on the platform it would be fine for a uh, pc downloadable but if this is going to be a mobile game uh, i would say that this track is a bit too long uh, also make sure that you do this in a compressed format whenever uh, the clip is so long uh, this one is uh, .mp3 which is already compressed. So let's disable the 3D sound here and let's match the compression with what I've made. So let's do 128. So simply hit apply. To, and actually let's also make this stream from disk, uh, which is a great thing to do when it comes to music. Now let's hit apply and it's gonna re-import everything again. So, um, all of the, the sounds I've included in the pack are already optimized for uh, for game making, but just make sure you don't just download a song and put it in there. Uh, it will be too large in the end. Awesome. So let's now add this to the game and we can just add this to the GM object. I think that would be pretty rel relevant. Uh, so sec select the GM object, go to audio, audio source, and add the clip background music, hit play on awake and set loop to true and then just bump down the volume a lot because background music doesn't need to be too loud. So let's hear now. I actually think that's pretty awesome. So that's just going to keep on playing and uh, once it's finished it's going to loop 
and uh, it's gonna sound nicely. So that was it for the audio part of this video. Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and save the GUI for another video. Um, but yeah, so that was basically it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.